Now let's refine this image a little bit more. One really easy way to do that is just to click here in this uh, upper right hand corner, that little camera icon, and that's gonna send it into iRay. This is gonna give you a ray trace version of the Substance Renderer. So you get a very, you know, all these reflections are super accurate. You're seeing the bounces, uh, the actual piece, pieces of the uh, scarab being bounced on itself. And just like Substance Painter, if we go in here to display settings, go all the way to the very top here, you can change how it's being lit. We'll choose another panoramic, we'll hold down shift and rotate. We can change this. Instead of environment opacity, we're gonna go down here to dome, to turn on clear color. And that way we can just hide that background. And if we scroll down here to post effects, we can turn those on. And these will translate back to Painter as well. So if we go down here to, uh, well, you can go in here to color correction. You can make it more or less saturated. You can crank up the contrast and brightness. Of course, in order to see that happen, click the little checkbox. And now you can see uh, more contrast, more or less contrast, more saturation. Or if you want to turn that off, just turn it off completely. Let's go down here to glare. If we turn this on, you're going to see we're going to start getting a little bit of that lens flare action going on. We can change that from filter to, you know, choose whatever shape that you want or just do a, a bloom. And then you can change the threshold. Up is gonna lessen that effect a little bit and then the remap factor uh, will control that as well. So you can kind of dial in how much bloom you want in your object. This will come into play with emissive, which we've skipped for now. We're keeping it simple, uh, but we'll get to that in a bit. And you can also turn on vignette, uh, lens distortion if you want to, all that stuff. So back here at the top, again, hold down shift and rotate. And if you're ready to capture your final image, you can just simply go in here where you can see it's rendering. If you wanna render a ton of samples, just click your min, max, and max time up, and that'll continue to just continue to render. Um, if you wanna render out a very large image, you can say override viewport resolution, and then type in whatever number you want. If you wanna do like a 4K image, and then just save your render. Now, if you prefer, the not iRay version, if you click that little camera icon off, that'll put you back in this mode. And it looks like we need to go back in here to display settings, scroll down to the very bottom here. Let's drop a little bit of that bloom there. So if you prefer this render, you can also render out of Substance Painter. One way you can do that is real simple. You can just hit tab on your keyboard. That'll maximize your viewport space. And then you can use Snagit, Greenshot, or just Windows Shift S on your keyboard. And then just grab this to your clipboard. And then back in Photoshop, you can just hit Control N, Enter, Control V, and then paste that right into Photoshop. Now there is an alternative. If you go back into Substance Painter here, let's hit tab to go back to regular view. You can go in here to File, Export Textures, and under Output Template, just choose 2D View. You can base it on the 24-8 of the texture size or dial in whatever number you'd like. And then you can just say Export. And then in that folder, there's a PNG with the uh, transparency settings turned on of your viewport. Now it's not going to have, oh, and there's the out, Open Output Directory button, by the way. It's not gonna have any of the post-process effects, however, if I scroll down here, and you can see, okay, if you had a ton of ton of glare turned on or anything like that, it's not going to capture that. Essentially, all it's doing is taking this 2D view and rendering it out. And your post-process effects only work in the 3D camera view. So even though it's straight on and flat and orthographic, uh, it's not going to capture that. But like I said, you can just hit tab on your keyboard and just export that.